I'm Elad Schechter, and I'm the director of From Jaffa to Agrippas Festival. Hello, I'm Stav Marin. And I'm Merav Dagan. And we both the artistic directors of Intimidance Festival. My name is Ido Feder. I'm the artistic director of uh, Diver Festival, contemporary dance in Tel Aviv, Jaffa. My name is Anna Danieli. I'm a choreographer and co-founder and artistic director of Kalim Choreography Center in Batya. Uh, I'm Yair Vardi and I'm curator and a theater maker and I'm co-curating the March Hair Festival in Kalim Center Batyam with Anat. Hi, I'm Tami Itzhaki. I'm the artistic director of Between Heaven and Earth Festival, which is an annual festival that takes place in Jerusalem. Intima Dance Festival is a contemporary dance festival for, it's a platform for a variety of creative artist creations for 19 years. It's the flagship of uh, Tumuna Theater, uh, which is based in uh, Israel in Tel Aviv. The festival started um, about eight, nine years ago, and it was initiated by Moshe Shechter of Shalom, and then I joined him in the second year. So I'd say the artistic vision of the festival um, is, is first, of, first and foremost is based on independence. Um, we are not associated with any major institution, but we work with all of them. So we really try to be kind of a surprising, capturing moment um, that happens once a year and brings different people from, from the field together. Um, it can be, of course, also from neighboring disciplines like visual arts, theater, but dance is like a leading paradigm that organizes this um, getting together. March Her Festival is the um, outcome of uh, the center's activity through the, the whole year. Um, we, um, we have a, a residency program and community programs that are uh, creating new creations that we present in the festival. And the aim is to allow all sorts of um, artistic activities with professional dancers and choreographer and within different people with different abilities to come together in order to express what is needed to express for them. The vision of the theater, of Tumuna Theater and Intimidance Festival is built on creation that is usually multidisciplinary and also reacting and challenging uh, in one way the medium of theater and dance and in the other way also challenging the, the public discourse and the perspective of how we observe the reality that is around us. The vision of From Jaffa to Agrippa's festival is to create site-specific performances that is using the public sphere between the, the, between the streets of Jaffa and Agrippa's in Jerusalem. Uh, From Jaffa to Agrippa's festival is happening annually since 2014, uh, and it's using the Machne Yuda market as a playground for the performances and dance acts that we are producing. We really try to um, have sort of some sort of like an intellectual tone or, or to be influenced by different ideas that go on in the theory of art or, and, and have them kind of not be an outside interpreta interpretative tool of what we do, but really be a kind of um, creating force for the artists. And that allows for different ideas to happen, different collaborations to happen, different site-specific um, projects to appear. Our vision in our festival is to take the Jewish culture and put it in a contemporary framework. What we do every year, we, we have a theme for the festival. And like the Bet Midrash, which is like the Jewish traditional way of studying, we take this subject and uh, we attack it from different angles, uh, as different as possible. And we can take it very, very far. And uh, the more far, the better. Our talk or our ideas throughout to understand what is, the, what is this festival or what is uh, Kalim Center is to ask what is the dance, um, what is the dance center make in the city? Or what is the role of the dance center in the city for the public? And this festival, or the March Here Festival, trying to understand together what the center has to offer 
uh, to the community which is around him. During the festival that was happening in September 2020, we had to create more airy uh, performances, open air spaces, uh, less performances in bars, in closed places. We had to cut the amount of people that we were inviting to see these shows, so we had much less audiences coming. And what we found that this caused a very accurate and very um, intimate festival. The original festival was supposed to happen in the end of June, mm -hmm. and then we postponed it after the first lockdown to September, to the beginning of September. But after the theaters closed again, we understood that we need to do something more radical, to, to create a more radical change. And then after a lot of thoughts, uh, we decided actually to change the festival for to an online version um, that aim to, to keep the connection between the theater to the video medium, uh, to this, this flirtation between them, because actually the, the works built for stage, but we wanted to find the connection. Uh, uh, what, what can we gain from actually using the video medium? Uh, but still uh, leave the attachment and the passion we have for the theater. For us, it was mainly really thinking, how can we keep the tone of what live art is while we do digital projects? And so that was our main effort. So it was basically inventing a new format. I would say this year, more than it was a challenge, it was like an inspiration and, and a year of innovation. For us, it was impossible to do something that it's on video because we understood that on video and in these technologies our body will not meet. Uh, so we decided to actually wait to the lockdown to be open. It took us four months and then we, we've done underground festival for 20 people because we felt that the pieces needs to come out to the world and they need to then decide what, they, what do they want to be. The festival this year is called Mythos of Company. And basically what we did is that we found a way to, to investigate and what, what a dance company can be uh, these days and how basically artists have to work together in a different way. We call it the curatorship of survival. And the whole festival is basically depicting those five episodes of, of this the company, of this invention of a new mytho mythos for artists, for artists who want to work together, for, and of course dance is the lead, leading paradigm of this idea because dancers are an assembly of bodies. We invited the artists, dance artists, to make video dance from their own 100 meters, so it was inside the house or in the very near surrounding, uh, so they made video dance and after that, we invited them to make interpretation for their own video dance. It was supposed to be on the stage, but then we had another lockdown. So it was online. And what we did is we took our theater and we made it as a TV studio. So those artists, they made their own interpretation in the studio, in this TV studio and we mixed it in a way that was a bit like a television show. One of the special events that we were presenting during the 2020 version of the festival was a piece by Ori Lankiski, who used the market to create a site-specific market tour using the character of Jackie Kennedy. And they opened the theater for one week and we said, okay, uh, we, we have to take this uh, opportunity and we told our all, all uh, uh, choreographers that let's do it, let's uh, bring it uh, to the to the stage, let's bring the audience. And it was uh, it was a, it felt like re very radical suddenly to be in a theater and to be with audience. Um, and it was very so it was two festivals. The festival is a kind of a video exhibition which is in five episodes and it's basically writing a story, writing a myth of a group of people that insisted against all, all, all odds to work together and be company, and become a company. We managed to 
to do what we do. We manage to meet, we manage to create the art, we, man we manage to be together at the same space, we manage to feel the feelings, we manage to create the art. We could reach, uh, f I think for the first time, uh, for to, to more uh, bigger circles of audience uh, because it was online. Maybe it was for people that uh, it arrived to people that uh, will not come to theater usually. Uh, so it was very exciting to hear the feedback uh, of more and more uh, people, more audience. It opened a very wide audience, also audience that is not very used to have patience to see dance. Uh, they could find their own way to connect to this uh, frame. And also people from abroad and people from far away could see it. It was actually a very nice um, adventure. I think that what was really beautiful is to understand once again that a festival is a combination of artists, curators, productions, technicians and people that we are all in the same boat. So in the moment that we cannot do the festival or we cannot keep going as we used to go, we had to become a community.